Thank you, dear. Uh. Hello? Mr. Pearson? Yeah. Thank you, sir. And I thought he'd been awfully helpful to me, and 
I thought the Senate had. I rather think that we've got more done in the Congress than nearly any administration in history uh, with our medical care and with our school bill. Well, and you with... sure have. Good God, there's no, there's no argument about that. Nobody can argue about I'm that. I'm afraid these senators will see that and think that we're fighting and the Democrats are divided and the Republicans are doing their best to make out like they're the sole supporters of my program. And uh, we've had some very bad, uh, injurious, uh, hurtful reporting. Uh, George Ball told me he sat down with Kay Graham and Al Friendly, and they said they just, uh, they, they, they had a complete new conception uh, when he told them what our purposes in Dominican Republic were and what we've been trying to do. They just uh, couldn't believe that this is uh, what's happening. They were very pleased. But uh, we've had some bad reporting down there, but I don't want to get anybody to think it that I'm uh, at odds with McCormick or Albert or Mansfield or, or Hale Boggs or Long. Uh, they have all been very cooperative and uh, uh, they have a general feeling that I call every congressman, every senator. I never do. Uh, I've had them in the White House for briefings like they do in the, like uh, the kind of procedure to have in the House of Commons. Uh, and answer questions uh, instead of a simple reception. But I always work through my leaders just like I work through my cabinet. If it's a labor matter, I look to Wirtz. If it's a treasury matter, I look to Fowler. If it's a defense, I look to McNamara. And I may uh, not agree with McNamara. And if I don't, I call him in and say, uh, I have doubts about it. And we reason it out pro and con. And he either agrees with me or I agree with him or we have a, a, a a moderation of it, but and that's the way I do it with my leaders. I never go direct to a chairman or to an individual unless the speaker and the majority leader and the chairman ask me to, and then only, I have guess the only case it's happened, foreign aid, they asked me to call a, a good friend of mine, maybe Jack Brooks, and ask him to talk to somebody, and I will do that on two or three occasions, but by and large, and Mansfield has always told me that if a senator calls you up and asks you about anything, any of your program, you tell him to see me. I've gone over it all with you, and I know your views, and I know the Senate's views, and you tell him to talk to me. And that's the way we've done it. And we haven't had a crossword, haven't had a disagreement, but I'm afraid that a new senator, maybe Harris from Oklahoma, uh, or... Uh, Someone from New Mexico, Montoya, will see this article. Will say, "Well, goddammit, Johnson, his president's unhappy with Mansfield and uh, caused uh, troubles there, and unhappy with Russell Long." And I'm afraid Russell Long will say, "Well, hell, piss on Johnson. If he thinks that uh, I can't vote for the repeal of poll tax, well, why the hell is he telling me it ought to be repealed? I told him all the first part of the year that I wanted to vote at 18, repeal it. They could do it by." constitutional mean. I don't want to fuss at Jack. I asked Bill Moyer if he'd ever heard of it. He said no. I asked him if anybody talked to him. He said no. I said, well, doesn't Jack contact you? And he said yes, but I haven't seen him in a month. I asked Larry O'Brien. He said he couldn't conceive of it because he had us canceling a meeting and we never did have one scheduled. And he had us uh, saying this about Russell Long. We didn't care. I told him not to even ask Russell one way or the other. To just let the Kennedy boys and the rest of them do what they wanted to and let Katzenbach take care of it. If Katzenbach couldn't handle the Kennedys or vice versa, it uh, wasn't anything for me to get in. I felt like it ought to be repealed, and I just wanted to repeal it the best way I could. So if you will look into it, I wouldn't correct it, but I, would, uh, I wouldn't want Mansfield and Long to feel like that I had read it. Well, uh, I think I know how I can handle it diplomatically. And just, I just, uh, I don't want to fuss, and I don't want to be sensitive, and I don't want to gripe, but if uh, if uh, somebody came in there and told me that Drew Pearson thought I was terrible and hated me, I know you'd want to correct it. And I don't feel that way about it long, or Mansfield, or the Senate. I'm damn proud of it. If they never do anything but pass the education bill, I think I had the biggest year ever. But I'm going to pass medical care next week, and voters' rights this week, and I'm just going to town. Well, you're uh, you're just a thousand percent right, and I and uh, by God, you had one hell of a one hell of a success. I've 
tried to say that several times. Well, you have, you have, and you just uh, touch those bases with Long and them uh, and Mansfield. I don't want them to feel that uh, the Democrats ought to be split up and go in opposite directions and kill a lot of our good program. I've got beautification, I've got pollution, and I've got all this uh, voters' rights this week, and i got medical care next week, higher education the next week. I don't want them to get crossways with me right now because somebody thinks that Johnson's mad at them because I'm not. Well, I agree with him. Okay, I'm, sorry, I'm sorry about it. And, 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 and... Uh, never mind, don't worry about it. Just let's get it straightened out and go on from here. Listen, um, I talked to, you know, I was talking to you about that German editor. Oh. Uh, you said you could see him socially. Could uh, could he be invited to some kind of a party at the White House or tea or something? Well, I'll talk to Bess and we'll see. All right. You talk to her too and let her I, see. I mentioned the to her yesterday and asked her if she had any dinners coming up where he he could be included. She was kind of a guess she didn't uh, know I shared it with you. But well, we'll look at it and see what we do. Fine. Thank you. All right.